Hi, my name is Stratos. This is the third video in the Page Builder Comparison series and we're going to test Breezy. As you have seen before in the previous video, we're using the 2017 theme, we're using the same host gating, uh, HostGator company, HostGator account. They're all subdomains in the same domain name, so all the environments are the same. I'm trying to use everything uh, as it is and uh, all the things that I have used are the same for all the tests. All the pictures are the same, the same layout and I, I have uh, done everything possible to do equal tests for all of those builders. Okay, so uh, please give me a thumbs up. It has been some work and effort that I have done here and subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this. Uh, I forgot to say in the previous video all of that. Okay, so let's get start with the GD metrics at first and I will show you uh, later the page. Okay, just to buy some time. Let me write those results down and let's go to the page to the Google speed inside. I was only, I, I always confuse that. I don't know why. Three videos and I did the same mistake. Okay, let's 3.3, 9, 30, and 37 requests. Okay, retest. And here we have 62. And in the desktop, 83. Okay, and here we have 2.1. Okay, retest. And let's go and see our page. This is the slider. Okay, H1 with background. Three columns under services with buttons. And this is two columns with a button. They have the fade in effect. And we have the background, the same background with the previous one with the same overlay color. Okay, 2.1. Retest. And Let's go and see our backend, what we have here, appearances themes. We're using 2017 theme and in the plugins, 1.9. In the plugins we have the Breezy, the, the free version, because I could do all of those things that I want with the free version, 1.081. Okay, last score is 1.9. Okay, and let's go to the other page. Copy this, and I will put it here to get the results. Okay, and let's go and write those numbers. 3.3, 2.1, 2.1, 1.99, sorry, and 1.9 again. And we have 9.30, 37 requests, 83 and 62. Okay. Next one we have 487 and 27 requests. Okay, Breezy, 487 and 27 requests. Okay, so let's go to our page again and I will count the divs from this button to the main container. Okay, this is the div for the button. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, and this is the main container, 15. 15. Let's go here and inspect the H1. And I'm counting until I find the custom CSS code that I had put here. Okay, it's uh, 1, 2, 3. Okay, three elements. Three elements above. And the total page divs are, let's go and see. Inspect view page rows 42, 42, 
and let's copy. Uh, sorry, I will have to again start the same uh, page that I did before. Count lines on line. Okay, I think that this is it. Yeah, this is it. Okay, sorry, I have closed it. I don't know why. 369. Okay, 369. And these are all my results for the Breezy. So let's go and see what we have here. Okay, we have an average loading time 2.26. I don't really care about the average loading time because it will vary every time that you do the test. But many of you do want to see the time. So this is it. Okay, the total page size is 93 and compare with the beaver, with the beaver it's uh, bigger. Okay, 37 requests as equal as it is with the beaver builder. And uh, this is uh, something that we get without any caching and without anything for any of those numbers, 83 and 62. Okay, they're okay. They're not very good. They're not bad. They're something good to start with. Okay, but here it's the sad part of the bridge builder. Okay, the total page size uh, for a page with only three elements is 487 with only three elements. Okay, the beaver gave us gave us 242. Okay, little uh, a, a little more than uh, without any elements in the same page. Okay, 27 requests, seven more for only three elements. Okay, 15 divs from the button to the container. And I will see, I will show you next that I haven't added any rows on any columns in this page. Okay, three divs from the H1 to the custom CSS. So the custom CSS uh, will be put in a div again and not in the HN H1 element. Uh, and we have 42 divs in a page with only three elements. Okay, and th 369. So the code that uh, DV produces is not uh, good as you can see here and let's go and see what I mean about the elements here okay I will edit this one with the breezy okay and as you can see here I don't have any rows added on or any columns okay if I had it rows and columns as it was here and I will delete this one and I will add here the button or a text or something button say button okay you will see here the blue line that says that I have a row here okay but here you can't see anything because I haven't added a row I could add element without rows and columns so I used that but nevertheless I got way too much divs for a page with three elements Okay, it's a serious nesting happening here. Okay, so that are the results. Uh, it's not a very good code for the Breezy. Okay, uh, the speed is not as bad as it could be. Okay. And you can see the page size is not as good as it could be also. So uh, let's go and see how does it cost. Uh, until now, you can buy the lifetime package for 299 and we have a 99 for unlimited side package uh, i think they are very reasonable with the price okay especially this if you want to use the breezy page builder it's not very good this time uh, i'm still waiting for the pro release the official pro release of course this package will not be there when they officially release the pro version and uh, we're going to wait and see now they are building their own uh, theme i know that but it's not ready yet so i haven't used it i only used the 2017 theme to make all my tests okay uh, that's all for the breezy uh, personally i would use it i have the pro version of course i would use it uh, but uh, only if uh, i want the client to go and add some things to to have him create uh, pages uh, himself 
because they have nice layouts and nice templates. Of course, this is only my opinion. I don't want to force you anything. If you are using the Breezy and you're happy with that, okay, it's good for you. Don't change it. You don't have to change anything. So that's the results that I have for you guys. Please subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up. And if you didn't like something, please write in the comments below. And uh, I will see you all in the next video. Thanks, guys. Bye.